In this video, my goal is to show you the benefits of using uh, loop structures and functions in R, and we are going to use RStudio. And to start, let's see what are the data sets that are available in RStudio for everyone. So this video can be useful for anyone who have installed RStudio, and we are going to use one of the default data sets that without any reading or without using any uh, Excel file or uh, comma delimited file, you will be able to access these kind of data sets. To find those data that are available to us, we type data and we press control enter. There is a list of data sets that are freely available to everyone. And one of those is empty cars. I'm going to use this one. It has few columns and not many, many, too many records. Uh, it's a specification and number of cars. The specification of a number of cars, which um, the idea is familiar for everyone. Okay, so we type data empty cars, which we know exists, and this data control enter. The data is available to, uh, to us the first time that we start to use it. Uh, the the statistics of that data set will become updated in our environment. So, for example, to see the list of fields, the list of fields, I type empty cars, and uh, you see that if I type dollar sign, I will get the list of all of the uh, columns or attributes of each record in this data set, mile per gallon, number of cylinders, displacements, horsepower, and so forth. and uh, if you look at the environment, we'll see that empty cars, which is a data frame, uh, has 11 columns and the size is very tiny, 32 observations and 11 variables. If we actually want to see the data, we can click on this matrix. The data is visible to us. Each row of data has a row name and columns have their names, uh, very familiar, uh, uh, basically a specification of a number of different types of cars. Now, if I want to uh, choose any specific column and see the content, I can simply choose that and uh, that is specific column. And if I want to find, for example, the uh, mean of that column, you know that we type mean, use the mean function, and we press control enter, and the average of that column will be uh, shown to us. Now, a number of general introduction to referring to the fields of a data frame. If you want to see any specific row, and all of the specific rows in that data frame, we type, for example, empty cars, we use bracket sign, and we, for example, if I want to see row two, and I want to see all of the columns, I just type two in the first index, and nothing in the second index, this two means the row two. And this place is the place for the column number, don't type anything in there, so I will see all of the columns, and now, in the console, you will see that the row 2 is Mazda RX-4, and the mile per gallon is 21, number of cylinders is 6, and so forth. Now, if I wanted to see all of the rows of a specific column, I would type empty cars, and I type comma, means that I want all of the rows. Now, if I want column 3, I in the column index, I type 3 press control enter and these are all of the values in column 3 to double check that column 3 is displacement 160 160 108 160 160 108 160 160 108 here so you can using the commands you can see you can control what are you referring to in any data frame and if you are interested in a specific cell in that data frame. Let's say if I'm interested in row 4 and whatever is in content of the column 5, I can just access that. 
Now, a number of other fundamental things. If I want to know the the name of all of the rows, in other words, all of the cards that are in this data, I can use uh, row names function, and I pass empty cards, which is the name of my data frame, to it. And these are the cards that we have. Now assume that we want to calculate the standard deviation of variations of one of the columns, let's say mile per gallon. Uh, we type SD, which is the function that calculates the standard deviation. And then we type MT cars, dollar sign, the list of all of the columns will show up. And control enter gives us the standard deviation of variations of mile per gallon. If on another column, we just do the same thing. Another way that we can do this is to use the standard deviation function and use the notation that I just showed you. MT cars, and we want all of the rows of, notice that I leave the first variable empty, all of the yours rows of the MPG column. And we get the same value. Now, if we want to find the standard deviation of all the columns, one is just to repeat this command for every column. The other way is to store the name of all of the columns and then and use a loop that goes through all of the columns and then use that structure to do uh, to find the standard deviation of every column that is there the benefit is that the number of commands that we have to type repeatedly again and again would be limited so this um, structure that we are going to create the repeating structure which is called for loop um, will have the same you know few lines of code uh, can handle 10 columns or 100 columns we don't have to repeat our writing again and again okay so the first thing is to find out what are the column names uh, the function that returns the column names is similar to row names uh, but we will store it in a variable let's call it variable uh, call names and this will be a vector and we are going to store the result of call names, which is a function that returns the name of all of the columns into that variable. So if I run, if I select call names, and you'll see that the name of all of the columns are returned. But when I run this whole line 10 and press Control Enter, these column names are stored in v call names. So if I type v call names here, and press Control Enter, you'll see that the values were stored in that we call names. Okay, so in variable we call names, we have the name of all of the columns now, and now we say for, I'm going to say for every C in we call names. Basically, we are saying that go go to this uh, vector we call names and one by one look at every value that is in we call name and do this for us whatever we want to do would be between these open curly bracket and closed curly bracket between these two curly brackets you will say okay print for us and we call the print function inside that let's say okay give us the standard deviation standard deviation function again open parentheses close parentheses and they will say okay give me the standard deviation of MT cars okay uh, MT cars which rows all of the rows of what column column C okay so now let's read this code for every C in we call names basically for every C that is a col column name print the standard deviation of this data set standard deviation of what values all of the values, all of the rows, before the comma means rows, in which column? Column C. And one by one, it will go through that column and will print the standard deviation of that column. Now, if I put my insertion point here, you'll see that the standard deviation of each column is shown to us. And we can say paste 
um, a sentence. For example, say the say the standard deviation of then we mention the column column C and then we mention the uh, standard deviation and after that we can also say is so the reader notice that he, the reader will have a nicer presentation notice that we are saying that we want to paste these uh, strings together the standard deviation of with the name of the column the verb is and the standard deviation and notice that my last close parenthesis is matched with the pace therefore I need to close the parenthesis notice that my close parenthesis is matched with the uh, open parenthesis of print and my closed curly bracket is matched with the open curly bracket now if I press control enter we have a nicer uh, presentation of our results so for loops help us not to print, uh, not to type so many lines of code and you know, do repeatedly one thing. But what if we wanted to find the standard deviation of any uh, data frame that we are working with? Um, well, right now this command from line 12 to 14 is just calculating the standard deviation of all of the columns of empty cars. What if I wanted to have this capability to find the standard deviation of all of the columns for any data frame that I am interested in? So if we want to generalize what we had done, we can write a function and then pass the object of the operations to that function and that way we will have a generalization of what we have. So I tell you what we want to do. Uh, I add it as a comment. So what is this line? In this line, I'm going to explain to my readers that we calculate the standard deviation of all of the columns of empty cars. But now I want to, we want to calculate the standard deviation of all of the columns of any data frame that we want, okay? So we want just to have a code that we tell it, okay, do this and then the program will take care of that. For that we write a function and to write a function every function uh, needs a name that stores the code of that function. So to write that function let's say we say um, um, the name of our function we call it f SD of all calls. Okay, so this is the name of my, okay, let's call it function SD of all calls. So it's going to find the standard deviation of all columns of uh, any data frame that I want. Okay, so this is going to contain the the function okay so that is the function name I would say this is a function and then whatever the the, the um, operations of the function are will be between these two curly brackets okay we have to store the name of all of the columns of the data frame in a variable and then we know that we have to use this for loop to calculate all of the um, standard deviation of all of those columns. But if notice that here, we are not gaining that much. We are just summarizing all of those lines of code 
as a function. Uh, let me show you what we have so far. We are just saying that uh, our function will store the name of the uh, columns in a variable and then we'll find the standard deviation of all of those columns. The only benefit that we get so far is that uh, to do that job, we run this, we store those lines of code in fs calls. Now if I run that fs, uh, fsd of calls, and if I run that f uh, standard deviation of all calls by calling it, you know, can run, you know, storing the names and running, finding standard deviations by just calling this function. Look, just running this line executes all of these lines of code that we stored in this name. But we can gain more than that. The benefit is that uh, we can choose the name of any of the data sets that are available available to us and uh, then pass it to this function and uh, basically get the standard division of all of the columns of any data set. Okay, let's look at what are the data sets that we have. Data again, these are the data sets and one of the data sets is CO2. So if I go to uh, this function and instead of using this empty cars I'm going to use the variable VV okay so what is this variable VV this is basically a character string that we are going to give to this function and this function instead of working on empty cars must work on this data frame so inside this function from now on the VV is that the name of that data frame. So let's get that data frame and store it on V data frame, a variable data frame. And how do we get it? We use get function and we'll get whatever VV is saying. So let's say if VV says empty cars, empty cars will be the data frame. Or if it is something else, something else will be the data frame. So now we We'll get that data frame, we'll store it in variable data frame, and then we will find the column names of that, whatever data frame it is. And we'll calculate the standard deviations of whatever data frame it is. The only problem is that um, now that this is a general data frame, it is possible that one of these columns in call names, maybe it is not a numeric field. Therefore, we have to here check whether or not this column of that data frame is, uh, is a numeric variable and then do the calculation. So here, before actually printing, when we say for every C in call names, do something, we say, okay, first, for every C, check if, and inside these parentheses, we say, if that... Uh, column of VDF if VDF column C is a numeric field then we want this condition this uh, next line to be operated so now we put a curly bracket and we close that curly bracket I put it right below this curly bracket so you see the correspondence so we are saying that if uh, the column C of this variable data frame is a numeric column then perform this otherwise don't con perform it now let's store this new function in the function uh, function SD uh, of all calls and then we pass the name of one of the data sets that are automatically loaded one of them is co2 so here i would say okay get f, uh, i want to call this function a standard deviation of all of the columns of co2 notice that this is the name of that data frame if i run this you will see that two columns of that data frame are numeric and we got the standard deviation let's check that if we uh, load the data co2 
yeah, the data CO2 is there. And if I look at the columns of CO2 dollar, we'll see that it has plant type, treatment, conch, and uptake. And uh, if we look at the data itself, we will see that only two columns are numeric. That's why when we executed this function, only two standard deviations was calculated. Now, if I want to calculate the standard deviations of empty car columns, our program will well, I have to pass, pass this string, empty cars, the name of the data frame, and passing it. But we'll see that instead of two, more columns will have a standard deviation, because in empty cars, there are a lot of numeric fields. Therefore, to summarize what we did, we have now a function which in by, by using one line we are calling a function we are giving it the name of the data frame and then we are basically summarizing all of these lines in that inside that function we will get the data frame which we named here or here and then we'll find the column names of that data frame and for all of those columns that are numeric, we will find the standard deviation.